It is daylight finally, the, the morning after here in Ferguson, and in the cold light of day, you can see that this city has some physical healing to do before the emotional healing can begin. Some fires are still smoldering here. There were at least a dozen of them burning overnight at the height of it. The chaos, of course, occurred in the dark of night, and that's led to a lot of second guessing of the prosecuting attorney here, Robert McCullough, who made the announcement uh, between 8 and 9 o'clock local time time after dark, uh, which may have led to a lot of the chaos here, but the St. Louis County Police Chief in a news conference overnight said that it's not clear that an announcement at any other time would have made much difference. Listen. Like I said, as, as dynamic as August was, can you imagine a, a night like this? I mean, we didn't have anything uh, of this magnitude, so it was very difficult, I think, to telegraph exactly what we should have expected. Uh, I didn't uh, I didn't foresee an evening like this. I will be honest with you. The chief said that he did get a good heads up in his words from the prosecuting attorney about when the announcement was going to take place, but he was not told what the grand jury's decision was. The, the uh, prosecutor, he said, uh, said that you can ask me anything except what the decision was. And the chief said, I don't want to know that because that's how our grand jury process worked. So they did the best that they could based on what they thought was going to happen based on the situation back in August, the riots that initially re, uh, inter, uh, erupted after Michael Brown was killed. But it was a whole lot worse than that, a lot more violent and uh, a lot more damage control to do. Carl? And then, Scott, as the president said last night, the uh, Department of Justice continues their investigation into whether Michael Brown's civil rights were violated. So this, this chapter uh, may be closing for now, but certainly the story's not over. No, it's not. And, of course, uh, neither are the larger issues that, uh, that this points to that the president talked about last night, about the very real fear that the African-American community has about uh, overreach by the police. Uh, but the protesters last night were not reading the volumes of grand jury testimony that was released that contradicted a lot of the early narrative about this, about Michael Brown having his hands up or even running away from Officer Darren Wilson during that confrontation in August. Uh, both the officer and witnesses testified that, uh, that um, uh, Brown was actually charging at the officer when the, sh when the fatal shooting took place after an altercation earlier on. So there's a lot to, to pick apart here, and of course they're going to do a lot of that. Uh, and the federal investigation will use that very same evidence and a different set of laws, so we'll see how it goes.